Welcome to Playing the Tips. Each week this will be the one-stop resource to soak in all the picks from our fantasy staffers at rotoworld.com. Page 1 is going to look at daily fantasy sports picks, fan duel, Yahoo, and DraftKings. Page 2 will have a look at one and done options as well as Pgatour.com's fantasy game. Daily Fantasy Sports DFS. I will be giving out selections for one team for each DFS site, per week. These lineups will be entered into a large entry guaranteed prize pool. That means we need to take a risk or two, in order to separate ourselves from the field. The idea is to provide you a list of names to consider. I would not recommend copying these teams, golfer for golfer. Duplicate teams are no fun and don't help anyone. Fan duel picks, Tony Finau, 9,900, sprained his ankle the day before his 2018 Masters debut but still went out and posted a top 10. He has been slowing easing himself into the season but should really pick up steam over the next few months as we see more bet grass greens which is where he's traditionally done most of his best work. Mark Leishman, 9,800. The overall theme of this lineup is balanced but it's still boom slash bust by nature. Leishman is a great example of that as he finished T4 in the 2013 Masters and 9th at last year's edition. His other four Masters appearances? All outside the top 40. Matt Kuchar, 9,700. The aging vet is having a career year with two wins already. Heads to Augusta National where he's collected four top tens in 12 tries. Gary Woodland, 9,800. Will people trust form or history? He's missed the cut in each of his last three starts at the Masters, T24 WD T26 before that. More recently, he arrives with great season-long form. He already has six top tens to his name. Patrick Cantlay, 9,900. If you play the narrative that distance is important at Augusta National but accuracy not so much, then Kent's checks the box. He is losing strokes off the tee lately due to accuracy but the generous landing areas may help him this week. Bubba Watson, 10,200. His winning upside makes him juicy in GPP entries. This also keeps $700 on the table which helps the roster avoid dupes. DraftKings picks, at future off Wadisi, Justin Rose, 10,800. Looking at the percentage of rounds beating the field average here at Augusta National, Rose ranks second in the field over the last 10 years. Only behind Spieth who is way out of form. That's not the case for Rose who has a blend of good slash average form leading up to the event which he said has kept him hungry to keep the game sharp, gets his bagman fooch back this week. Justin Thomas, 10,200, hasn't feasted at AMGC yet but he's still very highly of the layout and how well it fits his style of play. It's a place that I do feel like I'll win at some point in my career Hopi at least once. Torbjörn Allison, 7000, never been afraid of the big stage. That was especially true when he posted a T6 here in his 2013 debut. First timers aren't supposed to contend like that so it lets us know that the course should suit him well. JV, Holmes, 6800, he's slumped since taking a vacation after the win at Riv. The Kentucky native finished T4 here back in 2016 so we know the upside is there. Also a strong hole-by-hole -hole scorer with his length and most of the scoring coming on the par fives this week. Gary Woodland, 7,500, missed his last three cuts at the Masters but he's not giving up hope. It's frustrating. Knowing that I was playing well and knowing that my game is suitable to this place now, that's very frustrating. 
Patrick Cantlay, 7,700, a steady cut maker to provide some salary relief, has all the tools to contend in any event. Just needs a decent footing week. Draft Kings picks, at Dave Tyndall Golf, John Rahm, $10,000, took him a little while to work out the majors but had two top fours last year, the first at AMGC, perfect course for him. Ricky Fowler, $9,700, performance here 12 months ago would have won him the green jacket most years. Horse Horse and I liked his gentle T-17 warm-up in Texas. Bubba Watson, $8,800, Phil's done it so why can't the Masters have another left-handed three-time winner? It still blows my mind he was second in driving accuracy when T-5 here last year so loves these tee shots. Matt Kuchar, $7,900, can squeeze a fourth genuine contender in thanks to Kuchar's sub dollar ATM salary. Is he running on fumes? Maybe? Does he have an impressive master's record and is in the form of his life? Definitely. Charles Howell 3, $7,000, local news story, Augusta native plays masters for first time in seven years made the top 20 on his last appearance in 2012 and some impressive, and winning. Dash form this season, VJ Singh, $6,400, playing the vet card can work well here and 2000 Masters champ VJ looks the best option after his T6 at Honda. Made 5 of last 7 cuts at Augusta National. Total salary, $48,800 on the cusp. Rory McIlroy, $11,600. Justin Rose, $10,800. Jason Day, $9,100. Hideki Matsuyama, $8,700. Mark Leishman, $7,800. Charlie Hoffman, $6,800. Draft Kings picks, at Matt Cooper Golf, Rory McIlroy, $11,600, not outside the top six in his last six stroke play starts, including victory at the Players' Championship, and not outside the top ten in his last five course starts, too obvious? Maybe, but his head seems to be in a good place. Justin Rose, $10,800, his form has been a little up and down since the change to hone the clubs, but when he's played well it has been very impressive, victory at Torrey Pines and after a poor first round at Sawgrass, Ian Poulter, $7,600, suspect he has one more good Masters in him. A three-time top 10 finisher there and I also like that he beat Kevin Kisner at the match play groups and then saw Kisner win the tournament itself, might stir something. Charlie Hoffman, $6,800, success he backed Hoffman last week in Texas off his long-term course vibes and his likely determination to maintain momentum into this week. Loves the course and like his salary ahead of many above him. Kevin Kisner, $6,700, yet to achieve anything extraordinary at Augusta, 3 for 3, best of T28 last year, and I suspect it's too long for him to win, but not out of the question that he has a good week. Bernard Langer, $6,500, I like the German vet as a low salary bargain. Grabbed a Champions Tour win in February and made four of his last six cuts at Augusta National. Total salary, $50,000 on the cusp, John Rahm, $10,000, Paul Casey, $9,000, Jordan Spieth, $8,900, Bubba Watson, $8,800, Adam Scott, $8,400. Mark Leishman, $7,800, Yahoo Picks, Dustin Johnson, 48, getting comfortable at Augusta National, top 10s in each of his last three visits. Rory McIlroy, 47, can't be stopped right now as he enters with six straight T6 or better in stroke play events.
Keith Mitchell, 22, the Georgia Bulldog has feasted since returning to the Southeast. Should enjoy his debut at the Masters as he brings a bit of course experience from college. Torbjörn Allison, 23, finished T6 in his 2013 Masters debut and returned to finish T44 in 2014. His game is very boom or bust which is just fine in high entry GPPs. Ian Poulter, 29, has gained strokes T to green in all five 2019 stroke play starts. Not doing much with the putter so there is room for improvement over his steady form. Adam Scott, 31, he's averaging 1.5 strokes gained putting per event over his last 10 starts. That is 1.6 strokes higher than his baseline since the start of 2012. His ball striking always keeps him in the mix and if his pin and pudding keeps cruising then he should keep popping out top 15s. Fantasy race to Dubai, at Dave Tyndall Golf, last week, no event so more time for Masters prep, position, 2195th John Rom, captain, he's my idea of the winner this week so on goes the skipper's armband. Fourth last year on his second look at Augusta National and a bunch of top tens coming in. Justin Rose, took to Augusta on his first visit and twice runner-up in the last four years. And he's world no. 1. Francesco Molinari, perhaps easy to be trapped into thinking this isn't his best major but Frankie is changing past history everywhere he goes so why not at Augusta National 2. Paul Casey, 6-4-6-15 the last four years would have got him a place on the team anyway but confidence even higher after his second straight Valspar win. Tony Finau, DC Patrick Reed and Bryson DeChambeau are both available but I'm going to risk Finau as my American pick, T10 on debut last year, low ownership and raises his game for the big events. Louis Wistison, he normally pulls out with an injury or misses the cut when I play him but Louis is a major winner, a former runner-up here and boasts some impressive recent form, fantasy race to Dubai, at Matt Cooper Golf, last week, no change with no play last week, but one thought ahead of this week, how odd it feels to have no Rory McIlroy to select. Position, 2,569th Justin Rose, Captain, his form in 2019 has been addressed above so let's focus on how he copes at Augusta, very, very well. Seven of his last eight starts have been T14 or better and twice a runner-up, John Rahm. Seven of his eight stroke play starts have been top 12 this calendar year, he's impressed in his first two course starts, but I also like that he talks, and listens, to Phil Mickelson about strategy on the track. Paul Casey, he's very confident about his game fitting the course and his successful defense of the Valspar Championship only adds to the good vibes. Bryson DeChambeau, can he follow Danny Willett and Sergio Garcia in completing the Emirates Augusta double? Not sure there is any magic in that combo, but it's not out of the question he can go well. Francesco Molinari, he's turned so much around in the last year, ability to win, match play record, links record, major record, why not now genuinely contend for a Masters? Ian Poulter, in addition to the Kisnor kick up the bum, he will also know he wasted a good halfway position at Sawgrass. This year could be his last opportunity to have